Namaste, big cat. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your message or massages. is a foot as I turn down the music the word head heads and tail heads and tail what's what in the footstool is going on here so this reading is about heads and tails oh Maybe when you was in the tail end of something and how you came out on top. We don't know. We're going to look and we're going to see. We're going to seek and find. Oh, child, the three comes with what the key word of conflict, darling dear. A nerve wracking period for some, darling dear. It's just begun. It's only the beginning, darling dear. This is the time where Big Cat does what? They regroup. With I, myself, and me at what? The headquarters of Don't Get Smoke Central. Listen, keep your wits about you, darling dear. Why? Because somebody wants to tongue wrestle with you. They want to argue. They even might even want to go as far as to what? Tussle in adults. They want you to roll around on the ground with them, darling dear. Mm hmm. Exchanging fisticuffs. This is all happening because why? Your life path is about to make a change, darling dear. A change of direction. Mm, mm. This is about you being on the alert for a dramatic change coming through over the next few days, darling dears. And you have to remember to be wise. Not every battle you are invited to must you attend, bestie. Remember I told you that. Silencio is key. Why? Because in order for what? There to be an issue, you have to cooperate. This is the key word for the six, darling dears. The six, cooperation. You have to participate in the madness and the melee from those that are what? Soft, dull-eyed simpletons. Mm -hmm. Two, two, two on the counter, right? Trust that you're on the right path. Stay focused, bestie. You want, you, you, on things that you want in your life, not what you don't want. Mm -hmm. You will have to cooperate in this madness of tongue wrestling, darling dear. Feeble-minded works, darling dear. Mm -hmm. This goes to an energy of a nine. In numerology, the nine means fruition. Something is completed. Mm -hmm. um, it also speaks about you attaining something, darling dears. The number nine is ruled by Pluto as well as Mars energy. Pluto is, is the planet of transformation. That's a key word, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Pluto, a fixed water sign. As well as what Mars, darling dear. Mars is a cardinal fire sign. Mars is about self. It's about asserting yourself, moving forward. Mm -hmm. Never backwards. Yes, a cycle has come to completion. Also in numerology, your date of birth may be the 9th, the 18th, or the 27th, or someone close in close quarters to you, darling dears, has the birthday of the 9th, the 18th, or the 27th, or it could be your door number, darling dears. The lucky numbers for you for the next few days is 369. Mm -hmm. Your luckiest days will be on Thursday and Sunday, and the letters I and R will be important to you, darling dears. The number nine in tarot is ruled by the hermit. The hermit goes within, goes within, darling dear, for self-introspection. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like, you know, somebody complaining about how they're always attracting bottom feeders. Listen, stop complaining about that and talk to your panani or your fatum, darling dear. You, you, listen. Ooh, and I'll deny it if you tell anyone I threatened you, bestie. I'll deny it and say it wasn't me. I'll take the shaggy. Mm -hmm. Love it. I don't hate it. So remember, conflict and confusion, you will have to be a willing participant. Sometimes you just, the best thing to do is nothing. You have to know when to act. And when to watch. Just saw 444 on the counter. You are being spiritually protected at this moment in time. Because why? This is a step up spiritually for you, darling dears. To see if you're going to participate in what feeble-minded simpleton she's naive. 
Mmm. You up for it, bestie? Better not be. <laughs> Listen, it's got me snorting like a horse. And I'm a cat. A big cat, to be exact. Fist bump. Let's carry on with the read. Let's get your oracle ancestral message because the word heads and tails popped into my head. All right. What do your ancestors think of this melee, this path, this, this read? What do they want you to know? Right? That security lies with you, darling dears. Wherever you lay your hat is your home. We're seeing the element of the three. The three speaks about... Um, you being able to express yourself authentically in group style, Indias. Maybe you are a public speaker. Mm -hmm. The number three is ruled by Jupiter as well as Neptune. Energy Jupiter is about expansion. Neptune, Neptune is Pisces, the 12th house. Um, your social interactions, darling dears, there's a lot of frenemies out there, but it's also the, the house of death and rebirth, a new beginning for you, one which is spiritually guided and grounded, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The 12th house speaks about karma. You are going to be someone's karma. And something about old age. They Maybe this person thought they was always going to be young. And and what? Kicking their way through this Malkuf, having a fabulous time. Well, guess what? If you're fortunate enough, you're going to get old too. If you was good looking, you better be good looking on the inside, mate. Hey, hey! The outside will fade. Mm -hmm. Somebody's also what? Planting roots, possibly even buying a new domicile. Or moving to a new GPS, darling. Yes, yes, baby. This is about your security, but you have to be secure within yourself. No matter where you lay your hat, darling, dears, that no one can what infiltrate your don't get smoked headquarters. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's one to the big cat. <laughs> Let's take it from the base because it's the truth roof. Pinky's up. This is the ace of swords. This is clarity of mind, darling dears. Also being able to what? Use your communication wildly. Why? Um, the ace of swords is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Energy, darling dears. Bringing things into balance. Fair balance. Mm -hmm. You're wanting honesty in every situation. You went through a lot of um, pain in your past. But new opportunities are going to be what? Creating created or creating themselves for you but you have to be what a willing participating in new new in change in upgrade somebody's also going to be releasing a toxic relative or relationship over the next few days darling is why because swords air energy represents days and that's the truth roof pinkies up yeah nothing like a bit of clarity and when you speak darling it's like you have a spotlight on you why because you've learned to say less, darling dears. Say less. Mm -hmm. Law number four of the 48 laws of power. You learned to pack it in. No tongue wrestling unnecessarily. Your ancestors are telling you to stand in your truth. You are spiritually secure and you have a certain pathway set. One which you work towards, darling dears, by the sweat of your proverbial balls. Mm -hmm. We have the Watchtower of the Self came up in the air reading for next week. Oh, I said air, but it was the water reading. Look at the watch the air sign reading as well as the water reading. There's a message there for you, darling dears. Yeah, something about the summertime. The Watchtower of the South also speaks about somebody wanting to rekindle some kind of romance. They're wanting to see the fruit of their labors. Well, guess what? You are a sunflower, darling dears. You are what? You are robust and you are able to what? Grow in the dirtiest of waters. You are a lotus sunflower, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Lots of jealous energy because people are realizing your star quality. Maybe you have a platform, darling dears. Something that started to what? Pick up strength during the summer months. Well, guess what? Something major is coming towards you. You're about to stand in the spotlight with your truth. This also speaks about being different, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Love it. I don't hate it. Let's get your runestone. And I've got these ones. Thank you. Ooh, we have off 
fell. This is represented by the world card in tarot on its face. Someone who's seen a situation as drudgery, a situation that felt like it was non-ending. In the reverse, it's also what the world card is what? Karma, darling, there's karma. I am not somebody, but yes, baby, had to get Jamaican with it, darling, dears. Somebody is also homeless or about to be displaced or has displaced themselves from a situation where they felt they was in drudgerous slavery. Good calling, gosh. Um, a fella is represented by the letter O. So the letters O, I, and R will be will be relevant to you over the next few days. Mm hmm. Um, a fella is represented by the number 21 as well as the number 24. Mm -hmm. And your fortunate numbers are what? 3, 6 and 9. And something to do with the 9th, the 18th or the 27th. Whether a birthday or a door number, darling dears, is going to be extremely fortunate for you on a Thursday or a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. World card on its face. World card is Earth as well as Saturn energy. And again, we're hearing about fixed signs, darling dears. Fixed signs mean in the reverse. Somebody is not going to pursue a situation. This situation is filled with what? Stumbling blocks and unknown. Situations that is not giving them the truth. It also speaks about someone who's what's paying, darling dear. Yeah. A hillbilly investigation has been launched against you, bestie. Mm -hmm. Trying to what? Learn everything about you, but it's a university they will never graduate from. Why? The big cats say less. Hey, hey! You speak with your actions, never your words. Law number nine of the 48 laws of power. Listen, we back at the nine again, darling dears. Love it. I don't hate it. All right. So heads and tails. Let's go with the green cards to see what messages come up. Somebody's a thief and a liar, darling dears. Maybe they treated you as a tail end. They, they're a clip, they're a cut purse, a swindler, a pilferer, a porch climber, a bandit, and a crook. Good golly and gosh. So we have a thief trying to what? Infiltrate your don't get smoke headquarters. All right. This person is a criminal, possibly a first offender, right? Or a repeat offender. So whatever they, they, they've stolen, darling, is they've done it many times before. Left many with what? Unclosed, unfinished business, darling, dears. World card on its face. They're being looked for by many online because of their actions. What's this? By Felicia. Hey, hey! They better keep it popping and fresh. Here at what? Skatey, skate, was it skatey, slippery, slightly, right? Outside of your don't get smoke head central. Head central headquarters, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Bye, Felicia. Whatever, whatever foolishness they want to come through with, darling dears, you're not going to have it. You've decided that it's you running things. There was an age gap between you. All right. Let's go with the pink cards. What does the pink cards want to tell us? Someone tried to make someone jealous of a rebound. You must be joking, blood. If you finished with them, it was for a reason. There was possibly a shepherd of the devil. They've got all of your issues and problems. Listen, our parents always told us to give our toys that we no longer use or want to the less fortunate. Mm -hmm. Trying to make a big cat jealous. How now, brown cow? They so silly, bestie. Of a rebound? <laughs> I think not, Scotty. All right, two cards. Extremely abusive, darling dears. All right, mental, verbal, financial, and the seg. Sure. Mm -hmm. What else? All right, they're gonna get a karmic lesson. I told you, come on, name out them body. Mm hmm. It's gotten, mate. It's gotten by the proverbial ball. Well, I should say the spiritual balls, darling dears. The spiritual. All right. So we need two decks for the heads and the tails. We're going to go with the black and the gold. Let's get the gold deck. All right. The gold deck is telling you to relax, darling dears. Take the time to what? Get, gather your thoughts. Remember. Choose your words wisely, and in some cases, you have to know when to watch and when not to act or when to act. 
Mm-hmm. Ace of the people that had you at the tail end world card. Listen, it's telling us on the runes as well as the cards. They're watching you, darling. They're wishing all sorts of wickedness on you. But it's also the karma card. This is what boomerang effect. Wish some more wickedness. Because the, the more hate they send, the younger you look. Hey! Woo child. Giving up all their energy. Trying to bring a big cat down. When a big cat has chosen to survive. Ha <laughs> ha! They're dumb as a crumb. Mm -hmm. All right. Current energy around they, them, and um that wanted you to be the tail end. This is about you, what? Being the back end, darling. They're getting it without the Vaseline. Four oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Current energy about those tailors. That's a lot of cards. I'm not taking all of these cards because that causes confusion. And now it doesn't want to come off the table, so I'm going to read this one. They're bitter and they're jealous. Queen of Swords on its face. The tail enders, darling, dears. They were bitter and they were jealous. And it also speaks about somebody who will give you the wrong advice. They've got an agenda. They're calculating. They're intelligent, yeah. Because they're intelligent when you don't know who you are. When you know who you are, feeble-minded, dull-eyed, simpleton, darling, dear. But someone or someone is extremely bitter and jealous. And they're old enough to know better. Mm -hmm. Current energy around the what? The heads. The headers. The headliners. You will always be the headline. You're like a newspaper, darling, dear. Your life is a headline. Mm -hmm. So what's going on with the headliners? As hate and... Look, they'd like to shimmy down a pole and, and give you one all up and down your back chakras. Right? These are tabbers, darling, dear. Gossip mongers. Living in the past. Living in the yesteryear when they could take the piss with you. We've got King of Wands. Listen, you are focused in getting great, darling dears, making yourself great. This is success. Your mental health is on the up and up. Like I said, the more hate they send, the better you look, darling dear. Looking fabulous, gorgeous and lovely as you sit on your throne of infinite possibilities, listening to your intuition mm -hmm. and using your discernment. This is you using your discernment also in your, in your work. This could be the achievements of higher education or maybe your keyboard gangster or it's spiritual works that you're getting on with, darling dears. You're getting great. This is this is security, darling dears. You're feeling secure amongst yourself. Some of you are natural born leaders. Mm -hmm. But you have to get out of the tail end and around the tail enders to realize your worth. These bitter, jealous people. Mm. How do they feel about you? <laughs> How do they feel about the big cat who's minding their own business? Five of ones. They see you as a soft soap, darling dears. They're remembering hey, when times where they could say and do whatever they wanted and you didn't put up a fight, darling dear. You was meek and mild. Mm -hmm. They don't see you as no true challenge, darling dears. They see you as feeble-minded. One's energy lacking in it, in the face or the waist. But they're, they're telling lies to themselves, darling dears. They're all deludy, delulu. Because you're serving this, king of one's energy. You're looking back at the past and you've decided to focus on your health, your stability, your accolades, your certificates. A new car, a new business. Entrepreneurialism is definitely on the tableau, darling dears. You're getting great. Maybe you're working on the internet. Whatever you're doing, darling dear. You're being seen by many. Hermit I mean, energy on its face. How do you feel about these tail enders that tried to what? Clip your wings. They didn't want you to fly. In my Pinocchio voice. Or should I say the gingerbread man voice? Mm -hmm. You see everything, blood. Your third eye is buffed up to a bish. Yeah, yeah, you're no longer sacrificing yourself to situations. You've let them go. You've let go of the burden of what they brought to you, darling dears. It wasn't friendship. And you've healed from that situation. You've subconsciously decided to what? Pour away what no longer serves you. This is listening to your higher mind. For some, it's like you're famous. Your name is being bandied around many a mud hut, darling dears, with the tail enders wishing you were still in that situation, not knowing what to do. Mm -hmm. And asking advice from them who gave you bad advice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
this is someone also stepping into fame in the spotlight because you come with a different perspective, right? Right next to the King of Wands, you've got the gift of the gab. You're different. You're unique and you're different. This is why your field that you've chosen, darling, dear, you're standing out. Mm -hmm. And you're being watched. You're being monitored. But then again, the blessed and highly favoured are always under surveillance. Why am I stammering and stuttering? Somebody, they, can't, they can barely speak. Hey, they better stop watching you then. Their heart's constantly going boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom. Mm. So what's their next move, these tailenders? Who you said, by Felicia, lesson learned. Sayonara, and no hasta la vista, right? They would like to be coming in meek and mild. This is people from the past. They're going to start coming back because they see that you've got some form of star quality. Like I said, it could be a business. It could be accolades. They now want to be amongst those that can actually say that your number is in their, on their dial-in contact list, darling dears. Listen. They want to come through, darling dear, in a full-on tro Trojan horse, right? You better be lit, lit, lit with your what discernment and intuition. Why at this stage of the game do they want to come back? What's your next move? Should they dare what appear in your hemisphere and interrupt your what? Don't get smoke central, your headquarters. Listen, you've washed your face like, look. You're mirroring, but you are mirroring for the light and then for the dark, darling dears. You've already washed your face like David from the situation. You don't want to be confused amongst the confusing. You're not moving towards them. You've got nothing to say to them, darling dears. You're holding your two of swords and that's a closed pair of scissors, darling dears. You've cut them off with a quickness and you've got no intention of going back to that situation. You know your worth. <laughs> Sitting high. And looking low. Mm -hmm. So what are they going to do when, when, when the meek and mildness, wanting to make amends, doesn't work? Wheel of fortune, darling dear. Bad luck, darling dear. The bad luck and the karma is on them. They're going to realize that they are the combination of their actions. Going through this karmic lesson. And let me tell you nothing. I mean something. Tell you nothing. Again, you don't speak to these people. You're not in communication with them. They abused you when you was there, darling dears. Abused your presence, your words, your gifts. Mm. They're stressed out with all of this bad luck, darling dears. Can't sleep at night. Must be your ancestors waking them up at the 3 a.m. Going, dummy bad, dummy bad. We've got so much more to show you. Wake up, wake up. Mm -hmm. Face of the deck, what did I say? Karma knows their address and it's not leaving. It's not leaving. They know exactly why they're going through this circumstance and situation. Do you know your worth? And when you continue ignoring them, not letting them back in, what are you going to do? Continue to win, in, win darling. Continue to celebrate. This is um, seminars. Maybe you're going to be hosting a seminar, some kind of retreat, darling. Dears. But this is new contracts with feminine energy. Female energy over the next few days is going to play a part, possibly in contract signing, darling dears. Yeah, you're thinking more clearly now that you're no longer in the hemisphere of the wicked, right? Yeah, okay. Mm. Gonna give it another shuffle, yeah? And then we're gonna break it down. Four cards each. These tail enders, how dare they come from the pet cemetery? How dare they? They're all there, they are bold and shameless. Oh my god, these cards. talk out what's going to go on right because you know your worth you've added tax you're doing something fabulous gorgeous and lovely otherwise they wouldn't have remembered you remember a burglar never breaks into an empty house right yeah because they want a new opportunity they want to get to some new money mm -hmm. this is an opportunity so looking for some form of status what do you think about that it's not working for you 
You listen, you're matching money, moolah for moolah, skrilla for skrilla. What they're looking for from you, darling, they're never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Nope, nope, you understand a bad business deal, darling, dears. You remember how it affected your mental health? Listen, you was barking at passing cars, dressing like Quasimodo's bestie. You was broke, busted, and disgusted. Mm hmm. They're looking for an opportunity, darling dears. They're going to come in with their page energy. And they've got what? Two Skrillas to bring to the tableau, darling dears. This person is an opportunist. And they're also a social climber, a pooch climber. Yeah, a thief of the truth. Mm hmm. Still not working for you, darling dears. You don't want someone that is common to everyone. <laughs> oh, child. You've got a whole lexicon, darling dear. Mm -hmm. If it was a love relationship, you're no longer passionate for this person. There was the wrong choice for you, darling dears. But you've got to kiss a frog in order to get a prince or princess, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got a message. They're going to travel towards you, darling dears. They, they want to message you. But listen, it's going to message that's not going to land. Your back is firmly turned. You're focused on your goals, moving. Some of you are going on holiday, darling dears. Yeah. Or even changing your GPS. They're going to try and get a hold of you, darling dear. Try and catch your intention. But it's like chat to my back, darling dear. Law number 10 of the 48 laws of power. Avoid the unlucky and the unhappy. Mm -hmm. I'll even go one step further, darling dears, and say what? No spinoff, the blockoff. Mm -hmm. None. Timothy, 3 6. You ain't letting no one spin the block on you, darling dears. So when the message don't go, look, now they're mirroring. They're going to be confused, darling dears. They're not going to know what to do next. When the message goes unanswered, you may see them in the street and you'll have on your darkest glass or you'll blind your eye, right? Listen, you're giving them the full effect of what? Easter Island and Stevie Wonder. That's love and light with two of these and one of those. I didn't even know what finger to use then. It was like gang signs. Yeah. They're not going to know what to do. But you see, you listen, you've learned to what? Weed out the manipulations and the manipulations of it all. You know that they're liars. And every thief is a liar and every liar is a thief. By Felicia. Whatever, whatever their offenses, they're not going to be allowed to repeat on you, darling dear. You said, how now, brown cow? Remember, for some of you, it's had to make you jealous of a rebound. Who you'd already offloaded this person. Why? Because they was abusive. And you've learned your lessons. Thank you very much. As you became the red light, green light champion. As am I. Of 79, bestie. Pinkies up. Mmm. Let's split the deck. You're the wrong partner. Look! All of this betrayal. Listen, this was never your friend. And you know this now. Why? Because you're a friend to yourself. You pre treat yourself like, like fine china. Antique china, carefully handled with cotton gloves. And a steady hand. They remember how lonely you was to them, darling. You, you remember the heartbreak. Listen, they're remembering the good times when you was, what, naive? Offering up your advice, your domicile, your finances, whatever you offered up, darling. Maybe you married this page. Hmm. Hmm. Where do we go? Yeah, we'll go back to them. They're still in the middle of what? Offering up to conflict and confusion. Fighting, tongue wrestling, and possibly tussling in the dust. They put you in competition with others when they didn't realize that you was rare, darling dears. Now they want to hold you up like Simba. Mm. You ain't holding me up, blood. <laughs> To drop me and reach for the sky. Yeah, so the karma can find you like a beacon, darling dears. You'll say, no one, listen. You're not, listen, you've dropped the burden. You're not having it. Over. Tell them at the back not to approach. Mm -hmm. The message that doesn't go through, look, is going to make them spy even more. King size spying. They're going to step it up with the hillbilly investigations. They're going to be watching you. And I put your card on theirs. It meant to go up there, darling dear. The King of Swords, they know. 
right? Nothing is a mistake in this read, darling. There's the King of Swords when on their messages coming in. It's about, yeah, you're going to get the message, but the King of Swords is slow to speak. You like to get all of your facts together, darling, just before you do the evisceration verbally of what the feeble-minded, dull-eyed ones that dare try and come from what the tree, darling, dear, because they're tree sloth. Single and independent. With your back. Listen, solo dolo, like the boys or girls on the pole. You're going to do the matrix. To avoid this particular level of drama from an effing skin peeling liar who's a trickster and an opportunist and always looking for someone to what suck off like a leech with sucker pads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person's not gonna know what to do when you don't answer any of their messages, darling dears. They're gonna try. Listen, y'all gotta be strong, darling dears. They gotta be strong, right? Because you found that 10th cup on your own, darling dears. Emotional alignment. Because whoever has your emotions in the palm of your hand is your king. And you didn't fancy that anymore. It wasn't fabulous, gorgeous, or lovely. No, it wasn't. You hated it. You didn't love it. You're about, you're about seeking people on the same frequency and wavelength as you. While they can what? They're calling in what they... Listen, I can't make it up. Look. If you're upright, they got the reverse. They're going to continue to bring toxic situations into their life. More karmic lesson after karmic lesson, which they have no control over. Why? Because they spend most of their time as a confidence trickster, darling dears, going from opportunity to opportunity. You ain't the first loyal person that they, they effed over and gave it to without the Vaseline, darling dears. And you won't be the last. This person has not learned nothing. And they don't realize that they have their their pedals of the metal with the karmic lessons that they're going to be repeating. So guess who's the tail end now? They are. They still are. They always were. You are always the baddest of them all. You are best off out of these double-minded people, James 1-8. And never you forget to be what? Peter 5-8 up in this bitch, right? Vigilant and of a sober spirit. You have learned to love thyself, darling dears. Manage your own emotions. You know how to walk solo dolo like the boys or girls on the pool. You remember what it felt like to be effed over without the Vaseline by people that you invested time and energy into these betraying betrayers. Now it's got me sucking my 31 teeth and you know how I feel about that. Yeah, baby. Let the wind blow through your lace front. If you're wearing one, like I usually am, darling dear. You've learned to pack light. You took a risk when you stepped out in faith, darling dears. In faith, searching out this new beginning. And it also speaks about a new partner coming towards you, darling. Who is this person? Oh, equal give and take blood. Oh, oh. Battle state. Calm down, bestie. Calm down. I heard people running for their bats. Doors slamming. Someone pressed the red alert button. Yeah. Danger. Indicated. Yeah, well, guess what? You've already dropped a spiritual bomb on them, darling, dear. Yeah, because it's working for you. Right, partnerships. Someone is definitely on the internet. You're about to be recognized as a master craftsperson in your field. You ain't like the rest, darling, dears. Vive la différence. Pinky's up, bestie. Listen, leave the unhealed amongst the unhealed, right? Looking for their ass. Mmm, -hmm. Outrageous. Unhealed, darling dear. And a skin peeling liar, which you already knew. Who's the tail end? There was always the tail end, blood. You was the head. Never the tail, darling dear. Never the tail. What's this? What did I say? Because you know your worth and you've added tax, the universe is saying, whatever you like. Whatever you like. <laughs> Let's go to the bottom of the deck. You've got offers and opportunities coming towards you. What's on the base of their deck after all of this karma and calamitous, calamitous what outcomes, which is full of zemblanity, right? Yeah. There's something that they're working on. What are they working on now? What are they going to work on? We've got the king of wands. Ah. Oh. 
They're going back to work on someone from the past, darling. Because maybe they found someone who is what? An ancient figurine that they're going to dust off and take off the shelf, darling, dear. Someone's going back to an old supply or someone that they could easily... What? Listen. It's going to be an unhappy union, blood. Unhappy. Law number 10 of the 48 laws of power. You better make sure that your law number... What? For 25, reborn, darling, dear, rebirthed. And it's not you, darling, dear. No, you've got opportunities. And look, King of Wands, this past person, what about them? All they came with is arguments, right? This, this person would love to apologize for their past situations, right? But you've got other opportunities which you've created for yourself, bestie. You did, by the sweat of your proverbial balls. This person will lyrics you up if you allow it. But you've already been through this, darling dears. You learned. And you've got opportunities coming towards you, new beginnings. And it also speaks about helping hands of a new person in your life. Again, sucking my teeth. Mm -hmm. Touch not the anointed. And know that you're being watched, darling dears, by the spiritual realms, watched and protected, and by the what? The unwashed pet cemeteryites. Know this, because amongst all of their black cards was this one gold card for your common sense, your flip-flop, which you will not be slipped off again. Why, the king has been through everything, darling dear. You had to fight for your position, but the biggest biggest thing you had to fight was your own mind. Salt is spiritual. It's your cranium, darling. It's about your intellect, what you knew to be true, and what was confusion, and what must be behind you, like the past, like said ponytail. Mm -hmm. Heads and tails, bloody cheek. You know when you suck your teeth till your bottom lip comes out to catch any, any what cling on? Nice. Let's finish up. Yeah. They're confused, busted and disgusted. Oh, I went to get this deck and the elastic band broke. Not only is it broken. Where is it gone? Here it is. You've ended a cycle, darling dears. Anytime the elastic band breaks, you've ended a cycle. Let's get the rest of these cards up. Look what's left there. Violation, darling. Yeah, they violated the program. When you F over a spiritual person who fun suddenly comes to their, their awakening, darling, dear, and they realize that doors are opening up for them, three, Revelations 3, 7. When they've taken a risk, Matthew 6, 6, 27. The violations of the past is part of the past, but it's about lessons, darling, dears. Yeah, you educated yourself on narcissists, sociopaths, right? And people that have what? Demon possession, darling, dear. They violated you, right? We've got Neptune and we've got the star, darling, dears. Yeah, these enemies, these people from the past, these taillights, the tailenders. They're being illuminated to your star quality, the healing that your energy brought, darling, dears. They're going to remember your words and the security you offered forever. Neptune in the upright is what? Out of the ordinary occurrence. Something different is coming through for you, darling. There's unusual change, right? Mm -hmm. This is also about a powerful attraction as well as what? A repulsion, darling, dear. You're being protected. Protected from them. This fell off. Yeah. Because there's nothing like a big cat that has a prayer in their heart and focus in their mind. Mm -hmm. So if them, right, because this is all they bring and this is what they're going through. But it's a karmic lesson for them, which they are doomed to repeat as they continue to send those negative your energies your way. Which you've already released with love and light. What's this? Final card. We got the south node in the reverse. You're living according to your north node, darling dears, on your life purpose. Know your worth and add tax. Proverbs 31 10. Hmm. Heartbreak? You had to pray the heartbreak away. You had to take that look, take it on the chin. Just like they had to take them nuts. Mm -hmm. You had to. Right? Final message from the African goddess rising. Final message from my big cats. Who understand, understands what's going on, realize they are what the head, never the tail, right? What's this? 
harvest season for you, darling dears. The number 43 is going to also be important to you. Whatever intentions you set at previous full moons, darling dears, it's time for you to harvest it. The dull yellow speaks about the jealousy of this Joseph, this je ne sais quoi, 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 that you're serving, darling dears. This is tapping into your sexy, getting it back, your confidence, darling dears. You learn to dance in the rain while others are getting wet. The four and the three goes to a seven, highly spiritual number. We are in a spiritual year, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Spiritual knowledge, true understanding of what you went through, darling dears, and overcoming and still be able to do it with a smile. On that note, I drops me mic. So I'd love to my Teesprings, my Patreon, or my TikToks, where I also upload videos. If you'd like a personal read, please hit me up in the Gmail. All of my intel is in the description box below. I will never, ever contact you to do readings for you, darling dears. That, that's not me. That's someone else pretending to be me. And they are what? An echo praxic. Mm -hmm. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And leave a comment, because your comment... Would well be a survival kit for another big cat. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Big cat wave. Until we meet again on these Paris streets. Cat, cat.